one, not you down there. Do it yourself. So if you guys ever travel to Oregon, uh, you can't pump your own gas. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Where are you from, guy? Uh, South Dakota. What's going on YouTube? I'm in Colorado right now, uh, handling some business, and then I'll be out of here on uh, Sunday morning. But I got a question for you guys. Remember that video I did back a while ago, and it was about uh, you chose to be poor? I got a lot of feedback from that video, and a lot of you disagree with me. So I'm going to ask you guys another question. Who are you? When you look in the mirror and you see your outer, right? This is the outer. Who are you inside? Are you the type of person that has the self-esteem or the willpower to attract wealth? Or are you a weak being inside? And if you are a weak being, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to change yourself for the better? Because really, to be honest, guys... We have to be honest with ourselves. If the inside is, if, if our inner self is not right, we can't be right. And, and what I mean by that is this. You know, there's been times when you, you've thought, I need to open this business. Or there's been times when you say, I have to go out and, and, and get in front of this crowd and do this public speaking. Or something that was out of the box. But you yourself, your inner self held you back. But why? <laughs> if your inner self is damaged inside, how do you fix it? My, my, question, my response to that is, is that you constantly have to stroke it. And what I mean by that is this. You constantly have to feed your inner self with right knowledge. You constantly have to read self-help books. You constantly have to put yourself in situations where you're learning all the time. I can tell within myself, if I'm not reading, right, if I'm not educating myself, I can't really do videos because I have what you call video block. Some people call it writer's block, whatever, because I'm not constantly pushing myself. You know, uh, Brian Tracy, a, a, a guy I admire, talked about one of his students and his student came up to him and said, you know, Brian. Your program works, but after a certain period of time, it stops working. He said, I tried your program and I became the top salesman in my category. I mean, in my, uh, in my, my business or my, my job. The top sales guy. Then all of a sudden, I got switched, right, to another, to another job. And there it didn't work anymore. And as he's saying this, he thought to himself, oh my gosh, I forgot to do it. What was it that he forgot to do? He forgot to keep learning. You see, learning and bettering yourself isn't something you can do in the summertime, take off in the winter, you know, start back up another time. You have to be constant. When it comes to working out, right? When you start your, your uh, January 1st New Year's resolution and then you start working out for two weeks and you see a little bit of change and all of a sudden you go back to your regular eating habits, your, uh, you, know, you go back to not working out, all of a sudden you return to the same. What you gain, you lose. But the problem was is that you didn't continue to keep going and keep going and keep going because once you started, you can't quit. And see, that's where a lot of us fail. We think that we could just do something temporary and then all of a sudden things are going to work out. No. This is from the cradle to the grave. From now until you pass away or until you say, you know what? I'm no longer uh, doing business. I'm no longer doing a job. I am completely retired. But you're going to have to do it up until that point if you want to be greater. Because if you don't do it, you're going to be just like the guys on the sidelines who whine, who are watching what the government is doing right now, who are doing all these things, right, because they're not educating themselves. They're not trying to learn new things and apply them to their life and things of this nature. 
No one can make you do it. Only you can do it yourself. And it's not easy, but you have to make a habit of doing it, no matter how you feel. If you're feeling bad, if someone passed away and things of that nature, whatever, you got to get back on the horse and you got to keep going. That's success. That's it. Never stopping. When things get bad, you, you dust yourself off and you keep going. That's success. And I wish I can give it to you in an easier way, but that's it. So, thank you guys for watching the channel. If this is your first time, glad to have you. Please tell everyone about this channel. We need to get the word out. We need to stop the whining. We need to become strong citizens. No matter where you are in the world. That's what we need to become. So, with that said, signing off guys and see you next time.